Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you are safe and well and have had a good couple of stitchy weeks. <laughs> it's been a while. I was meant to be back the last week, but that never happened, obviously. <laughs> so I'm back today. So uh, I haven't actually worked on that many projects since I've been away. I've only worked on six out of all the ones I've pulled. <laughs> so I'll go through those in a moment. Um, I've got a little bit of haul and stitchy kindness, which I will go through as well. And then, uh, seeing as it's going to be the first of the month, first week of the month, uh, from Monday, uh, I will be drawing for my possible finishes or close to finishes for this year pieces. So, uh, yes. So, yes, uh, the reason I've not stitched much, um, I've been struggling with uh, energy fatigue or whatever you want to call it. So, I've been really struggling to um, stay awake. <laughs> and get up in the morning, uh, which is not like me. So yeah, so I've been going to bed earlier than normal. Um, one night I was ready for bed at half past six. Um, it's ridiculous. So I've had blood test done. I've just got to wait to go back to the doctors to see what that is. It's possible it could be low iron um, because I had a blood test before and it was just a little bit low. So it's possibly that my iron levels have gone too low. So um, I've just got no energy whatsoever. So I haven't been stitching much because I've been too tired and going to bed early. <laughs> so. Hopefully I get sorted out soon. So uh, as I get my results this week, so I'll be able to know and let you know what's going on. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I've only got six projects. Uh, so I don't think I've even, one week I don't even think I stitched at all. So <laughs> that's how bad it's been. So I'll go through it and show you what I've worked on then. So without further ado, uh, no, tell you what, we'll go through uh, stitchy kindness and stuff like that first. So the first one is a chart I got gifted from a name excuse my watch pinging um anyway i got i got a chart gift to be from, from heaven and earth designs and of course it's me i had to go for a super size one and it's lion and cubs max color it's artwork by jan patrick krasny so obviously to carry on with my uh, cat family so i got this one that's gonna be fun a lot of background before I get to the lions, but hey ho. <laughs> Can't have enough super sized pieces in your uh, projects. So, yeah, so I got that one. So, thank you again, even though I forgot your name. <laughs> Sangra, I think he was. Uh, so, apologies. Uh, so, yes, so I got that. Uh, next one I got was my new kit from. Pain Free Crafts, because I'm part of the Pain Free, Pain Free Crafts Crystal Club. So, take the uh, cover photo out. So this is artwork by Ann Stokes, and it's called Fire and Ice. And I'm gonna be doing it on 32 count. I thought I'd try 32 count. <laughs> See how we go. So this is the one that I've chosen. And this shipped really, really fast from the UK. So, it was shipped on the Friday. It was received in, the, in Australia on Monday and it actually took longer to get from arriving in Australia to where I live so it arrived in Australia on Monday and I didn't get it till well Monday morning and I got it on Friday afternoon <laughs> it took for ages so that's my new kit from there so I don't know when I'm going to be starting that at some point and then the last thing I did a, an order with JK's so Place an order for the missing flosses for minibus crossing and then a couple of extra ones to finish off my um, box of my complete set so i can now get on with minibus crossing and do the missing pages uh, spaces that i need to do so that's good so i can get on with that one and i also bought, got a dimensions kit it was on clearance uh, it was the last one and i've got this chart already but it didn't have and they had like the leftover uh, threads with it. So obviously because uh, Dimensions and you use Anchor, it's a bit hard to uh, find the right numbers because I've got extra numbers on these ones uh, in front of them. That's how I thought I'd just buy it again since it was cheap. So I got myself the Sunday Fox. Just that one, hopefully you can see that. Which is on 14 count Black Ada. So yeah, so I look forward to starting that one at some point as well. Because I really like that one. And I've seen that one switch. 
stuff just falling off the back of the table. Uh, and I'm saying this, I want to see stuff by a fair few people, and it looks really, really good. It's good to rush So yes, so I bought that as well. Seeing as it was going cheap, because it was on clearance. Right, so that's all that. So let's get into what we've been stitching. <laughs> so, first one I've worked on is my Quaker Turtle by Ori TM, which is this one. So last time we saw it, I was working in this section here. So I'll finish that section, and then I've done the motif below and the motif above. So this one is on 18 count Ada, which was, um, I think 18 count. Yeah, 18 count Ada, hand dyed by Kelly from Kel Stitches. Get it the right way around. So this one, I'm losing everything, it's all sliding off my knee. Um, this one got a total of 384 stitches. I'm hoping you can see some of the pluses on this. So I finished this one here, which I did two over one instead of one over one, but never mind. <laughs> and then picked another color and finished this little motif down here. And then I did the little motifs up here. So this is a variegated silk. That's what we are. That's looking good. I thought since I've got a lot of silk, I might as well try and use some of them up. So I choose different colours. Apologies if you can hear like a lawnmower. I think it's the council mowing out the back in the like the nature area. So apologies if that picks up on the camera. So yeah, so that's where we are with Quaker Turtle. I was enjoying that. And I think this one's on my... Uh, ones to finish ones, I think. I can't remember. Possibility. <laughs> right, that's that one. The next one I worked on was my Savannah Spirit. Now, someone did send me a message with who this is by, and I forgot to write it down, so I'll have to find the message again. Um, so, yes, I think it's a Russian company. Um, so, I'm working still in this area up here. And this one is on 28 count Easy Guide. And I am stitching this one over one full cross. I didn't get a lot in this one. And I got 144 stitches. So this is where we are on there. But I have finished these two rows now. And then starting down here. So as you can see, I filled in like this section here. And I think some of it went down the bottom here as well. I can't remember. It's been a while. Move my face so my camera can focus on this. So yeah, so that's where we are with that one. I was hoping to get a lot more progress on these, but I know. You're sick, you're sick. <laughs> Not much you can do about it. Um, next one is um, a piece by Tilt and Crafts, and it's Master, which is this one. So Yoda. <laughs> and this one is being stitched on 40 count wooden and brown um, Newcastle linen by Svagart. Need to get the right side. There we go. This one got 391. So this is one over one tenth stitch. So it's very small. <laughs> this is where we are on there, if you can see. <laughs> so I worked over here and through this section here. But I think I've done a counting mistake down here. Um, and there was no way I was ripping one over one out on 40 count. <laughs> so hopefully I fudged it. And got back on track with that one, so I may just have to fill in a couple of extra stitches in this part, but hey ho, it is what it is. I'm well, used to cameras with auto <laughs> focusing, so yeah, hopefully, you saw that okay. <laughs> That's that one. Uh, the next one I worked on, excuse me, rustling, is I'll see if you can see, yeah, you can see it out there, Greek pots. And I was working in this section here with whatever this is. I think it's a horse or some kind. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. And this is on 14 count white Ada. <laughs> the cast has gone flying past. Um, and this one, I've got 157 stitches in on this one. So not a lot on this one either. 
So this is where we've got to on there. So I decided to start filling in around the top so we, I can determine which is the top of the, <laughs> uh, the pot on that. But yeah, so I filled in a fair bit through this part here and then around here. I don't think I did anything down here. Well, yeah, that's where that one's coming along. The bit once this is filled in, you can then see what everything's going to be. So that was good pops. The next one I worked on, excuse the rustling again, is Heaven Nerve Designs, and this is supersized treetop leopard family. This one. And again, I was working in this area up here. So this is artwork by Jan Patrick Kresny. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Verdal, one over one, 10 stitch. And this one got 236 stitches in this one. I just have to find the start. I can see it, I can see it, where is it? There we go. <laughs> So yeah, so this got 236 stitches, so it's still not a lot to see. But most of these colours in here were black 939 or 500. <laughs> I think it's 500, the dark green. So yeah, so I've worked my way across. This is the end of the page here now. I think it actually goes a little bit past the end of the page. But yeah. I enjoy working on this one. The 40 count verdal is better than the uh, linen, that's for sure. And yes, it's going to be a big piece. <laughs> Try and fold it up. Try, being the operative word. There we go. Wait a minute. And then last but not least, there's my Super sized tiger family of the jungle. Artwork by Jan Patrick Kresny. Charged by heaven and earth. And I'm in this section here. Here, yeah, I think here. <laughs> one of them. Around here, somewhere. And this one has been stitched on 25 count easy guide. One over one full cross. This one only got um, 1,076 stitches in on this one. It's not as much as I wanted to. Um, so this is where we're up to on there now so as you can see I've filled in a, a lot more of this area here started filling in a bit of the bird and across here so we're getting close to the page finish the page finish is here so it's getting there sadly but surely but yeah I've been working on this one but boy is it again is there a lot of colour changes in this section here <laughs> but it's coming along nicely. So that's all that I've worked on. Um, so yeah, that got 1,076 stitches. So that was it. So as I say, not a very productive couple of weeks, but it is what it is. Right, so now we're gonna do my products of the month. So I need, what's well, Saturday today, aren't we? So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I need seven. We'll pull six and then I can try and get some work on Super Sad Tiger. So we'll pull six. Excuse the light, it's a bit dark here today. So the first one is that one, <laughs> Archangel. That's my uh, Mirabilia one. Next one. Is Leopard Cub. Seems to be pulling the same ones that I pulled out last time. Next one. Leopard Cub again. I've obviously got this uh, not on uh, no repeat. Let me just see if I can quickly change that one. No 
I'll repeat results there again. And I've got an advert, typical. Thank you. No, I don't want that to get off. Right, let's try that again. At Northern Lights, that's my wolf one. Got that pull, got pulled. Next. Tiger Chilling, Dimensions Kit. So what was that, one, two, three, four. Next, oh, I did it quick. No, oh, you don't want to see my screenshot. Get off. <laughs> oh, it just shows like a cup, so we've already got that one. Monochromatic Tiger, that's by Stitching Jewels. So that's one, two, three, four, that's five. Last one. Reindeer, yeah. um, Heaven and Earth chart by Donna Gelsinger. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, two, four, five, six, yes. So give me two seconds and I will go and pull these projects and show you where we're gonna be starting from. Back in a moment. Okay. All right, so I've pulled those projects. Before I tell you the projects, well, I remember. <laughs> this morning, I went to the eldest niece's gender reveal because she's having her second baby. So we went there and I said she was going to have a girl. And I've said this for a while. And I was like, nah, it'll be another boy. She's having a girl. So yeah. But yeah, so she's having a girl. So it's not due till October. So that's going to be fun. Try and teach you how to cross stitch or something. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go on to the charts. So, first one is going to be my Tiger Monochrome. I say this is from Stitching Jewels Designs. I'm stitching this on 25 pound hand dyed fabric from um, Kelly. And this is where we're going to be starting from. This is one over one four cross. I'm doing black. So that's where we're going to be starting from. So, hopefully, we can get some. Uh, Good progress in here. That's that one. I want to at least maybe try and get halfway down his top of his head. Try and get down here somewhere so I can get into his eyes. We'll see. The next one is Northern Lights. This is a kit by Jan Lin. Piece of fabric. No, that's the wrong piece of fabric. It's falling out. There it is. So, this is a piece. So, I'm working down here at the moment on these walls. This is three over one full cross, and this is one over one full cross or half stitch. And this fabric's falling out, so it's all creased up, so apologies. <laughs> this is going to look like a piece of crap. I'll have to give this one an iron. <laughs> so yeah, so this is where we are. So I'm going to continue working on this bottom section here because it's almost done up. We've only got like this bit here and a bit of the rocks to fill in. So we'll continue on that and see if we can get this bottom section done and then I'm going to have to worry about the top. So yeah, this is on 14 count Black Ada. We'll see where we get to on that one. Fold it up a bit neater, it might flatten out a bit. That's that one. Uh, next one is, I've already zipped it, unzipped it, and I've zipped it back for you. Uh, Heaven and Earth Peace uh, is Ornament to the Enchanted Christmas, uh, which is the reindeer one. Right, work by Donna Gelsinger. And this one, I'm working on 28 count Easy Guide. I am doing it two over one ten stitch. So this is where we are on there. So I'm going to continue working from the top. I think I'm just start working down, or I might work page by page. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to start from the top anyway. <laughs> so this is where we are from that one.
next one in my fantastic project bag. Say that every time. That is my leopard cub. This is a custom crafts chart. And I'm in this section around here. So I'm just getting close to where the lion cub is. So hopefully I might be able to get that started. Uh, this is on 25 count easy guys. I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this is where we are now. So yeah, I've got this little section here and then the cub should start in around about here, I think. I've got a little dark section here to do. Well, yeah, I think the cub's gonna start in around here. So hopefully this time around, I might be able to get onto the cub. We will see. Next one is Archangel. This is my Mirabilia. And I'm working in this top section here. Um, so last time I think I just finished his wing. I'm not quite finished his wing, I don't think. And then it'll be coming down and starting on the, the skin, I believe. Now this is on oh, Witch Out Permian Linen, uh, 32 count, and the colorway Mediterranean Sea. So this is where we are all together on there. It's horrible linen, oh, I hate it. So yeah, so that's where we are on there at the moment. So yeah, I've just started on this wing. So I think I've got maybe one or two colors left to put in this wing and that wing should be done. And then I'll be starting on the one over one skin, which can be fun. So we'll see where we get to on that one. And then last but not least, my Dimensions kit, which is Tiger chilling out. This one, I've got the fan on, it keeps on the paper on. So I'm working in the head at the moment, so I'm gonna try, uh, I'm working this way across. So I'll see if I can get most of his face filled in this time round. This is on 18 count Black Ada. And it's two over one full cross, three over one full cross, or whatever it calls for. And then 10 stitches. So <laughs> we'll see where we go. So this is where we are on there now. So yes, so I filled in. Most of the bottom, <laughs> fight with a piece of paper. I uh, filled in most of this bottom part here, so I'll be working like this way across. I'm filling any gaps going this way. I've still got his whiskers to put in. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put that in, <laughs> but we're doing it at some point. So yeah, I'm just going to work across this way and get as much filled in as I can. It's looking awesome. So we will see where we get to on him. That's all the projects I'm going to be working on for next week, and then uh, hopefully, I guess I'm working on my super size tiger family as well. All being well, fingers crossed. So that's all the projects I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm hoping to get a sorry, my phone keeps pinging. Um, I'm hoping to get a stitch with me done this week as well. So if I get that done, that will be up on Wednesday. So look out for that one, Obi and Will, it'll be on there. Um, so that's everything for me. I know I've not been here for three weeks and you're probably expecting a longer video, but no, you're getting just the usual size one. <laughs> uh, so uh, I hope everybody has a good uh, long weekend. Uh, if you have support, support, celebrate Easter, have a good Easter. I uh, hope you get lots of chuckies. Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, then just enjoy the long weekend with friends and families and hope you have a good time. And I will catch you in my next video. If you don't watch my stitch with me's, then I will catch you in my next update video. Or be well, should be next weekend. Um, so until then, guys, um, take care, stay safe, happy stitching. Thank you very much for watching, it's much appreciated. And I know it's late, but welcome to all the new subscribers. My numbers have gone up um, a fair little bit. I'm getting close to that 5,000 mark. So not, not far off now. Um, and again, thanks for returning if you are an existing subscriber. So until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.